So this is what Deanna created from our session. Deanna, can you give voice to the images, the image that we're looking at? Well, going back to um, what I was just referencing earlier, um, if, if you could see in the middle, like the big black uh, circle, there's like a, a small stick figure representing me and the black circles kind of represent like uh, walls or uh, guards that I put around myself. Yeah. But the colorful um, spaces in between represent the the good parts of me, the, the parts that I want to show, the parts that I want to offer um, to the world and how like it, I feel as though people have to get through those dark walls um, in order to, to get to uh, those colorful parts of me. And on the dark walls, I, I, I write, I try to write go moving in, um, so from the outside, I'm gonna look at mine here. Um, just affirmations to myself, um, letting myself know that people will want to work with me. I am a value on, to, uh, on a team. Um, I am a great artist. Some of the quotes here are, you are not perfect. Um, open up, you are not weird or I am weird and I need to open up, uh, you are protected, um, things of that nature. And then the words um, on the left kind of represent what I'm trying to block out. So I'm trying to block out chaos, disrespect, poverty, liars, um, power hungry people, dishonesty, et cetera. Um, and it's like kind of the, the girl in the middle kind of re represents the, the small inner child within me that I'm trying to heal, um, that I'm not really letting people get close to. Um, um, yeah, I think, yeah. So that was, that's a place, I, I created this from that space, yeah. you know, um, just wanting to hear that, wanting wanting to heal that inner child so that my inner child can express um, itself because it was the child that loved to create and didn't um, attach it to my lifestyle. It was just a form of my expression. So, so yeah. So you come from the corporate world as an artist, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How is that different than creating something like this? This was raw. I remember expressing this before. I had never done anything like this because um, anything that I created that didn't, that I felt um, I couldn't sell or wasn't selling something, I didn't think was valuable. So um, Creating this allowed me to just release a lot of um, angst and, and hurt with, within me and really allowed me to see like um, what I'm dealing with. So like this actually has a lot of value for an artist um, mm. um, than you'll ever know, to be honest with you, because you need to do this. Is because I'm such a perfectionist in the corporate world, it can be very like, like tit for tat on little things and moving things a little bit here and making things look perfect. But with this one, I allowed myself not to be in that space. And you need that release. Mm -hmm. You, you, you need that release. Like, well, I, I can just honestly say for me, like I definitely needed that release. And so, um, when you gave me the prompt, I was able to just, just put it all on canvas, put it all on paper. Um, and I'm proud of it. I'm, I'm most definitely proud of it. It's, it's one of my yeah, better. I, I think it's, I think it's dope. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it looks, I, it looks I, like I, graffiti. It looks like graffiti. Like it looks like street art, you know? Right, right, right. It's, it's, this it's, it's it was organic and it's just something like that I like I miss tapping into myself with this because like you could get 
when you work for businesses and you're just trying to make the dollar and you're trying to get the likes, you almost feel like you're not an artist anymore. So, um, interesting. That, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> mm-hmm. 